other side. Yeah. Curry playing off this wall. Now Curry's stuck in a bad spot. Now getting spotted as they come up. And that'll be the first kill going the way of TSM. Wardell striking first. Ooh. And through the smoke, TSM is going to get another one off the back of Wardell with the ghost. Sabroza holding for heaven, but it's a nade that comes through to finish off the damaged haze. That wall is just about to pop. Wardell, though, is continuing his rampage. That's now three kills on the round for a player who's had a hot hand all throughout wow. this final stage of VCT. Wardell gets spotted. There's a dink shot coming down from Dawn, but Dawn is all alone and surrounded. See, definitely for T1 at this point. They're just looking to make things more expensive for TSM. They didn't get that many kills at first, so they just want to try to make it expensive versus the attacking side. And they have the flank locked down as well, so there's not really much that can be done from that flanking position. It was being spotted initially by Bang. You can see Curry now going for the flash. It actually works out quite nicely. Wardell's still in position with just the Ghost, doing as much damage as possible. Wardell finds a 4K with right in their sight, but they're able to get past that one. The Gravity Well doesn't suck anyone in. There was a Nano Swarm down. Wardell using the knives to help take care of the turret. They have to be careful for this player that's waiting around the corner. It's Rax, who's just being a nuisance right now. Finally, the swing comes through from spawn. That's automatic picking one up for T1. But the plant will go through. It's a four on three. And all three remaining players for T1 coming through from the same spot. It's time for Wardell to pop off with the Blade Storm. Doesn't actually get the kill. Now getting stuck in this gravity well. Has to be careful as he's run out of knives. All he's got left is the rifle in his hands. Such a late lurk from Haze 2 on mid side. Yeah, it's could be a problem depending on how the spike goes on site. There's the spam coming through from Dawn with the Odin as they try to sneak through. Kills will go back and forth in both directions, but it's Leviathan who cleans up. That's going to move all his, uh, all the way up. You have to try to fight back somehow against this mid default. Ooh, that is punishing timing coming in from Leviathan. Now Skadoodle could be there. Oh no, Skadoodle had him dead to rights. And Leviathan almost got lucky on another, as Automatic misses the shot. There's the dive through in mid, and this round is falling apart for T1. This round is ultimately the epitome of this half thus far, as everything is just going TSM's way. Yeah, that was so nice there from Leviathan. At that point, we are able to get two kills, and you have no information on the side of T1. Nothing's really being thrown out, because of course, Curry dies at the same time too, so to gather information, to know where the hit's going to happen, it's not going to happen at all, actually, for T1. So unfortunately there, everybody falls here for T1 and TSM. That ult took him down to 27 health. Still here is Brax, though, finally arriving from heaven. But look at the pressure coming in elsewhere. Taking out the turret means that this flank play will be a little bit easier, but there's still an alarm bot down, and now the play has been blown up. Look at the utility that's down as well. That is really rough to run through, but it doesn't do as much damage as one might think. Players are still sitting at around 70 to 80 HP. They're trying to do something with this heaven control that they've gained, but they've still got to concern themselves with that player on ramp. The Viper hiding inside their own smite. Smoke. Brax is on the site. There's the ult coming in from Automatic. Brax finds two, make it three on the round total, and it's all up to Wardell, who's now trying to get away. It will be the first round for T1. You're using yeah. most of your abilities towards the A side just to try to shut that down. If TSM going to try to work towards B, well, you see how, well, we'll talk about it a bit. The attack is actually coming in towards this A site now as Dawn is holding it down. down a. Dawn finding three. That snake bite almost cost Dawn their life. Wardell had to pick the way they're playing mid, though. So much presence in mid, and that's a big shot coming up from Curry. Thought they could get away, but that's a great trade peak coming up. Gain sight control, but did they really? Look at what is grouped up all around them. Skadoodle currently sitting in hell. Automatic up in heaven. There's one also back towards spawn. This was three players grouped up in that area. Yeah. Big, big Nova Pulse too. Automatic could maybe throw some pain shells at the same time. Trying to clear that up. It works onto Wardell. Beautiful hold there from Automatic. This is not going to allow much for the last few players. One enemy remaining. Clean. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. Does come down to one. Haze is at least able to do some damage here, but again, TSM. They hit the pause button almost on their attacking side. They were looking so good for a while. But then it was T1 who came alive. Nice flick back from Haze. An opportunity for a spike plant here potentially. Yeah, he's going to go for it with four seconds left. Will get the plant off. Maybe, maybe not. Mm. Almost gets it. About 0.2 left on the clock. One of that. They're grouping up. Here we go. Here's that. Uh the Trailblazer, we have the uh, Cosmic Divine, but it's a fake actually towards this A side, oh. so it's not too bad. 
That's actually huge too, because Leviathan had the ult. That could have been a massive decoy potential on the Whoa. site to actually pop that ult. In position is Dawn, almost converts on another as well as Hazed is very low on HP, 36 health remaining. Rax goes up into a vertical position on the trash can, trying to spot them on the cross, but will wait for the rest of the team as there is a player advantage currently. That puts a lot of the pressure on the full HP players of Sabroza and Bang. Hazed on site with just 18 health after the spike's been planted. Yeah, at least he's got the trap wire towards elbow, so that could help for a bit. They could focus a lot on his heaven side, double up as well from Sabroza and Bang. So they're in pretty decent positions right now uh, to try to hold this retake. A little bit of a detour there on the guiding light as it initially went to the right and then had to go back and go through screens. That's a huge ult, and there is no oh, cancellation gosh. policy here for TSM. Now Haste on site, getting some support from Bang. Oh. Haste still in position with just 3 HP. He's been caught by the ult, and it's going to come down to the 1v1. It's all about timing, and there's the peak from Bang. The spike will be planted. They're still concerned about a potential lurk coming through from A. You can see their KJ in spawn. Kind of watching the backside of this. But Leviathan has a target literally right around the corner with an off. But with a shotgun inside the smoke, this is a very deadly position for Leviathan to be in. Never mind. <laughs> Cancelled in the end. Curry does get spotted out by Curry to look for the A ramp. Meanwhile, though, for TSM, Wardell pushing in towards B, and there's that first blood. Leviathan on A side. So the satchel didn't work out. Oh, Sabrosa with the backpedal trying to moonwalk his way into ropes. Almost gets caught. There's one stuck inside the gravity well. Flash will give away what's happening. That'll pull Viper away from the A site. There's low HP targets here. Great shots coming out. Spikes right around the corner. Very low on HP. And it's a quick finishing move for Bang. It's now back in favor of TSM as the three on two is going their way. And the spike is down and quite visible for the Viper who's currently coming in from heaven. They need Leviathan to back up and offer some support. But Leviathan can't peek because of the turret that's down. Has to be careful. The turret's giving away their position. And now the spike will be planted in just a moment. But the player who planted it. They do start working their way in towards mid. Look at the way that Sabros is playing this inside the smoke. Has to be careful. Oh, no. the flash comes through, and he just dive bombs it with an SMG. It's a quick pickup onto Curry. That's actually pretty problematic for them. That's their flash. They need that for the entry power. Wardell playing on the other side of this toxic wall that's up in B main. Just able to tuck in this corner. They're going to clear it, but they don't clear it hard enough, and that allows Wardell to find two. The spike's been dropped in B main, and because they took so long, they're now down to just 20 seconds. And it's all on automatic. Timothy Ta, what do you got for me? This 12 seconds ticks on the clock. For 17, which will also allow them to use that cosmic divide on the attacker side too. Coming into this, this wasn't exactly a bad map for T1. No. You look at the statistics across whatever went wrong yesterday, especially on their attacking side, as Gen G controlled that pretty heavily on their defensive Woo! side. But look at the aggression coming out from TSM. Sabrosa and Bang go in the paint down mid and find early kills hopefully work on both sides and maybe get a get a, a viper's pit plant uh we'll see what happens if they could act, get this opening but smile you're definitely spotted there i thought you were gonna say you're on candid camera for a second <laughs> that was gonna be a reference that back up here wardell actually hits the tap Ooh. shot that's another for wardell his ghost has been on fire he was feeling it in the last map and you see this ping from that mini map. Basically, the three players of TSM could just triple stack and look down towards B side first because you have the alarm bot and the turret Ooh. from Hayes in the back that's watching that flank. And now that it thaws up, they're like, okay, well, be careful. They can lurk towards this garage. This now allows for less bodies to walk to watch towards the defender side, which makes it an even two versus two after that kill. At least Brax on going B. for the bank shot as well with that dart. It did get taken down, but good heads up play in the moment. Brax doing great damage as well, and things have turned a little bit here. Dawn in a one on two, 42 HP, mean number of kills. They were able to find early on. This time, it'll be the early off purchase, which we thought we might see based on that early damage dealt with just a ghost. Now, Bang was on site with Wardell, and Wardell had to backpedal a bit. The support was lost. Curry is currently hiding on the other side of the wall. Hazed on site. It'll be a four on four retake. There is one holding down the flank. It's going to be the Viper battle over towards the backside of this play. That really yeah. determines how things are going to kind of spiral. Big pickup there from Skadoodle onto Sabrosa. Hazed comes right around the corner and catches Curry sleeping. 
this kill's about to happen. There you go. But the, the sneak bite actually came out on time. 2v2 now into the site. The, of course, that's going to run that clock down, but they have to come up quicker with this flank. And you already see it. Wardell saving his up. Leviathan looking for some exits. They're going to be able to upgrade at least to a Phantom, but the round is still going to be secured by T1. Oh, that is not the miss you want to see from Wardell. That's the op going down for T1 compared to what they had. This is the timing! 30 seconds left. That's brutal. It's now fallen down to two. Skadoodle and Dawn. Dawn's even low on HP. Skadoodle does have the heal. Has to go back for it. Killjoy Molly's down, slowing down the spike plant. Here. And there's the spike coming in. They're giving away the pings. Nice damage dealt to Dawn. So much for that heal down to just four HP. It's retake time. Three on two here for TSM. Spike picking away, but TSM already moving up and getting into advanced position. First one from the wall will fall to Skadoodle. There's a follow-up from Dawn, and the top-down position from... ...find some safety. Now, they know the ult was popped over here on A. They want to assume that Wardell's playing this one aggressively, and now Wardell's running out of knives. Has to find a kill, okay. and can't. Gets taken down. Leviathan picked off Frax elsewhere. And there's a wall coming out from Bang as well to try to get away. Good snake bite coming in to do some follow-up damage. The vulnerability proves to be a bit difficult for them. There's so much happening right now as the fast flank is already coming through. The Seekers came out and connected almost immediately onto Dawn. And he has spike control. Yeah. I love this right now. The fact that they threw the Seekers out from Sabrosa towards A main. They upgraded into weapons. Bang put the wall. He put the Frost Swords. Made things very difficult for T1 to push forward. And now left. TSM has spike control. There's the pop-up from Leviathan. The smoke does go down. Haze is able to convert on at least one kill. But Curry's Rampage continues. And things again slip back away. It's Leviathan. A one-on-two. Automatic is so low on HP. I'm the headshot, actually, with just one target remaining. It's Curry, who's been doing so much this round, but it's Leviathan. Want to, but it's Leviathan. Instead, it's trying to push down towards his A side, and he is pinned and down. Nothing that they could have done to get away from that one as the ult came through, the dart was in. Even some follow-up damage off Hunter's Fury. Bang, tagged down to 70 HP, forced to use the hero. There's an early flash coming out, oh. and the swing from Sabrosa proves unsuccessful. It's a two on five, and if they saved in the last round, I can't imagine they go for this one. Yeah, no. You've got the off in Wardell's hands, and there is just no lot. Play this towards A, and they've got only one player on A coming in from a traditional location. Spike they need to find a. a kill on Viper, but they don't to get sight control. That's what puts them in an interesting position. Now, a miss throw on the slow orb could prove to be a bit problematic. That's an ult coming out from Hazed, and automatic. Getting the kill, but an immediately tr uh, immediately trading it back. That was in an attempt to cancel out this Killjoy ult. Look at Leviathan. The peak is going to be everything, and there's the double for Dell. Spike is down, and you just heard the call out. 30 seconds left for Brax to make a play. And you don't want anybody else but Brax right now in this team to be able to clutch, but he's low HP. Easy kill for Leviathan. Love the adaptation there for the Spike. So 5-4 for TSM. Wardell with the first blood on B main. And the where you've got all these players so building tough. up and oh now the pressure is on here for bang bang's got to find multiple kills great slow orb to slow them down it's a massive 3k from bang they won't see some and it's a slaughter one enemy remaining 30 seconds left that's it weren't I'll ready for it fans yeah i was gonna say they like weren't. They, they weren't gonna see some Rosa right there so bang he was in a duo dire position the frost orb I, I thought it was going to be good enough, and he did his job if he only got one. But he's able to kill two more onto the top of that, and it allows Sabrosa to be hidden around that fence and could have gotten that kill onto automatic, but at least, no matter what, it secures around in a nice tight angle there for Wardell to be able to, to and then get the plant so they could play the whole plant that way. And they start walling things up here to fight towards his B main first, and this is just going to look grim. Yeah, well, that was... A little bit of an odd play as Wardell actually dashed accidentally backwards and made contact with a wall that was unintentional. That could have been a very favorable 5 on 3 early advantage, but just a, a little bit of a mistake there from Wardell costs them that and it becomes a 4 on 3 instead with an off pickup no less for automatic. Oh. Now Leviathan through the box, that's a big kill as that came through tube. And that'll make things difficult because they don't have, you know, the capability for 
that Viper utility. That was kind of the only control utility they had. Yeah, I mean, get, he got the orb for Dawn. He got oh. the punch. Collect collateral there from Automatic, though. Okay, it's it's doable. There's a res coming out from Bang as well. Through the wall they go. It'll all fall onto Brax. The position's been spotted on the other side of Yellow. Has to pull off the spike. He knows it was at least tapped. There's the big kill coming in from Brax. Yeah. Pistols have proven to be quite successful for TSM. But Wardell now slowly slinking up mid. Catches T1. Look in the other direction. It was Dawn who falls first. Automatic. In a long-range exchange with the pistol. Getting another kill and uh-oh. The wall's up behind and now he can feel the space around him just collapsing. But as I say that, Bang actually survives, sneaks across, drops the wall. Super That's alert. a great move and a missed opportunity from T1. As Curry gets dropped on the back end of the play, things are back down to a three-on-three. Three, whereas they could have had spike control with it. Two player advantage. Yeah, and Sabrosa heard two players rotate down towards pipes, so he's in a great position to flank some more. And T1 understands this. They're pushing out towards his B main. Hayes is going to fall. No pulse plant play happening so far anymore, and it comes down to the battle. Sabrosa at least is close. He still has one more guy to light. This could be a huge flash, and it's not enough. It's side get pushed out towards green to get these kills. There you go, Curry. <laughs> just getting a little concerned there. Yeah. As the shot started to just kind of build a circle around him was looking a little too similar to Pulp Fiction. And it's a buy. Yeah, this is a force coming in from TSM. Fast play towards the site. Now Automatic has the knives available as well. Pretty early on again, the knives coming out for a jet main. This is a uh, thing across the series. More specifically looking at Wardell. Another spike plant. Damage definitely a problem. No heal currently for Bang to bring himself back up to full HP. 24 health remains, 84 Sabrosa. Leviathan sitting on a full boat with light armor. Dog does go out. There's the flash coming in as well. A wall comes through, and that is going to be a quite problematic snake bite coming out. They do tap the spike and hold it to get it halfway. Oh. Bang being dropped puts everything on Sabrosa, and it's a repeat of the previous situation with Bladestorm. There's the Seekers coming out. Here's a slow lurk mm. up mid. Leviathan had a potential freebie kill on the Silva as well as an Aldrone was going out in the other direction and they would have been caught a little bit off guard. The Knives going to work out masterfully off the back of the Recon Dart. There's Automatic going flying and putting on a display. Two players remain. Make it just one as Automatic is slicing them to pieces. Del though, he wants more. Spike is going to be planted. And now they're going to cement themselves in better positions across the site. The heal goes out onto Leviathan to bring them back up to full HP. Automatic looking for an angle. Can't quite spot it with the AWP. It's a 5 on 4. The numbers in favor of TSM, but the weapons heavily in favor of T1. But so good, though. Really leans on Wardell. They, they can play both in a great position. I to get one or two. That's a huge first one. A follow-up? No. Couldn't somehow hit. I thought for sure it was going to be a free kill. Sabrosa gets the flash around the corner, then tries to retreat, and all of a sudden it's falling apart. But this is the big problem. There's the, oh, or the snake bite coming in from distance. It's the moonshot from the Viper. And they just can't do anything about it. Sometimes you don't do it with the gun, you do it out of this. But that's an issue. I do like the way that Sabrosa has gotten on the other side of this currently. Has to be careful though as they're starting to move into position. Does Sabrosa get around the corner in time? No, Sabrosa was in fact spotted before getting into the tube. So now you've got automatic from distance with the op and Hayes is realizing. Lucky to stay alive for the time being. Five on three. The forces for TSM dwindling, Ooh. but it's a big shot from Wardell and a dash away for safety as well. The res comes out back onto Leviathan. Things are swinging a little bit in favor of them, but it's started to fall apart. It's down the bang, who's just too containment, wasting out the ult from Leviathan. And this round, automatic, immediately traded off, though, at least off this nice little TikTok wall in the top here at Pipes. And it's a 4-4. Four four. Big res coming out, though. That's huge. And, oh, never mind. <laughs> he's, he's neutralizes that one. Skadoodle's like, okay, well, I guess I'll scoop up the op. Not like he doesn't know how to use it. But certainly an interesting set of scenarios that plays out early on in the oh, round. Oh, man. Are they doing it? Are they going to seek her into the Viper's Pit? Yep. Look at this. It's huge. And they peek off the back of that as well. They catch them off guard. Dawn does get the kill at least off the snake bite. There's the ult coming out as well. And oh, look at this. Woo! It's a free one for Wardell.
had a potential follow-up as well onto Skadoodle. Look at the positions. They're all over the place. Hayes is running around like a chicken with his head cut off in mid. And now it's come down to this. It's Skadoodle, the op of yesteryear against Wardell, the king for TSM. Spike will be planted. Smoke goes down. Skadoodle's already made it through from screens. That smoke's going to fade in just oh, a moment. Hold the, the barrel, and it's a quick shot from Skadoodle. That's Get the kill. The idea of actually inside the spawn site. You wonder, did Wardell see the Sage on the pick to the Sova? Because Skadoodle was coming out of Kitchen at the time. It's tough to say. The call definitely wasn't made to Haze at that case. Two early kills in favor of T1, but some follow-ups to bring things back to balance. Equilibrium has been restored as we're at a three-on-three, -three, but they can't do anything currently. Haze doesn't feel comfortable going for the plant. Going to catch one on the cross back. But look at the flank coming through. They're trying to hold it, but they're watching too many things at the same time. There's the peak coming out from Dawn. And you've got Wardell currently hamstrung to work with a, a guardian of all things. And now it's all up to Sabroza. A one-on-three to keep their hopes alive here in map number two. Again, TSM did pick up the win in map one. And it was looking promising, at least in that first half. But TSM falling flat here. Sabrosa scoops up the spike. It's hero time for Sabrosa. Working the clock. Taking every possible second. I love the flash coming through. That'll at least initiate a potential peek from one direction or the other. There's the tap on the spike. They know he's not sticking it. And here comes the slow walk around 410. They are in prime position to prevent this from happening. I think the big kill they need to get is actually going to be on Dawn. There's the dart going down as well to try to give away positions, but Dawn, does Dawn time as well? Not yet. Dart's going to give away some positions there, and now they're going to go ahead and try and do what they can, but everything is counting against them as TS fast control of mid. And again, this will be a difficult retake for T1. They've already got the Nano Swarm down. That's a he missed the flash. interesting decision from Sabrosa. The solo swing with the flash come through. Literally everyone was waiting on the other side of that one. There's the smoke coming out. The tap on the spike, but not the stick. Kills going in both directions, but it is currently favoring T1. It's been down to two. They can't find them on the spike. They're having a hard time with the SMG from oh. distance. Or Del well for them to plant, so they could actually go for this fake. But Leviathan's waiting around the corner, and they fake check it. They false check the corner for Curry. He looked there first, but at least the trade is there. But the information is gathered as well for this retake, knowing that there's going to be flankers from Garage. Nice shot from Wardell. Here's the leaping coming through. Sabrosa is also present towards spawn. There's a gravity well. There's a player still on site, but there isn't. They're going to make their way out. There's automatic with the attempted dash out, but it's not successful. The ult does not prove to be as valuable as they would have hoped. The Seekers have started funneling out towards spawn, but they actually don't get much information with them as they're sprayed down through the smoke. There's a smoke on the spike, and now the counter seeker coming out. Skadoodle, though, peaks a little bit prematurely. Other player's going to be spotted out. There's a gravity well. There's the ult coming in from Wardell, who's popping off fast shots coming out from the knives. It's down to... A one on two. Dawn's on sight. The quick shot's not there. Dawn with just a pistol making this happen. You've got Bang waiting right around the corner who tries to retreat and does. Weapon swap. Still time on the clock for Dawn to play with. But to euthanize as it attempts to get some information outside of Garage. is going to get his flash on an attempt to make their way in. There's Huge. a big paranoia coming out. The ult from Leviathan, though, is the can opener for the round. That gains them access. Dawn, though, still present in backside Woo! sight. And I don't think Leviathan's ready for this one. Another fake, but once this happens towards this A site, he can just TP uh, from the shadows out there. But Curry's still holding the site. Spike down A. That should not happen. There's the ult coming in as the ult actually gets cancelled. Uh, as the round is lost, TSM has... They have a huge paranoia that's about to get thrown from flank side. That's a big one, though. That's a huge shot coming up. Or Dell, but... An even bigger trade from Automatic. We mentioned that Wardell needed Boom. to pop off, and one kill wasn't what they were looking for. Hayes currently in hell with just a classic. That is a huge flash, but no, Sabrosa took forever trying to get that kill. It still works out. Dawn is now coming in on the flank. Time is proving to be... This is what is the name of the game. It's actually going to be a play towards a Curry. T1 
taken down as they make their way through. One kill for Brax. And again, it falls down on two players. One of them, though, is Automatic, who has been lights out with the AWP, and it's a massive kill in mid. Sabrosa sniffed out by Dawn. And that brings us to a two-on-two. Two. It's going to come down to this duel between Leviathan and Automatic with the AWPs. Leviathan missed that first shot, but so does Automatic. Leviathan going towards the sidearm. Bang is oh. trying to lock it down. Quick shot coming out from Leviathan. Automatic is swapped to the rifle. Fast dash onto the site. With time being of the essence, he goes vertical. Love and it's it. a big pickup for T1. Remember, do they do it time and time again? We'll find out. Did say. There's, the knives that, there's the knives that come out as Automatic rocks the spike, but can't really stick around for too long, especially with the dog flying in. Playing on the basement for Bang as well, clear peeking in mid. There's still that flank coming through from Dawn, but there's the Dawn kill coming in. Wardell has to step up big, as it's now down to just Wardell. Both players on site, they don't have anything to cordon him off. There is no cyber cage, and in which direction does it move in? Wardell takes care of it. There's a flash coming out. Wardell really can't do much. Ooh, counter flash, but doesn't really seem to make too much of a difference for Curry, who comes around the corner spraying with a frenzy. And this is a big start to the second half for T1. Yeah, T1 probably, or TSM probably didn't expect that T1 are going to be so close on that default spot. Getting the flashes out to push him back towards long. Here comes Sobros on a retake. He's just lurking instead, but here comes that self-flash. Connects for one, but Skadoodle's not blinded. T1 doing a decent job of holding the flashes going around the corner. And you can hear the double blind call out, but it doesn't make it so far in these first two rounds. See the elbow, but can't really do damage there, has to be careful. So just going to hang back currently, give them sight control. There's the dog coming out, the smoke comes through. Oh. And oh man, the timing. Another second and there would have been a free kill there. That's Hayes dropping Dawn on the opposite side of Garage. But again, they don't really have anything to try and keep the spike in their control. Look at what they have to do. They just have to swing off this one. There's the smokes going down. Good shots coming out from Hayes. Continue, wow. but Curry finds an angle on this smoke, but it doesn't matter. Bang has stuck it the entire time. Surprise! He's the round there for TSM. This round, though, Wardell with the Marshall connects onto the face of Skadoodle. And another close range of the automatic gets the Blade Storm and is able to move quickly and just drop people shot after shot to the head. Wardell has to go for the smoke because the paranoia comes through. The Miss 9 is going to give them an opportunity they weren't anticipating having. There's a flash coming out around the corner, and Sabrosa cleans up. Cabbages coming out as well. Both sides sending the Seekers on site. You've got Automatic who's just eating damage from that Nano Swarm, and it's just all falling apart here. It's on Curry, the last player alive. Good spray down, double kill coming in for Curry, who's got 6 HP, but Ward down. Round for T1, the fact that they have two players in spawn side, two players at the back of C, to go for immediate trades for TSM. They're just running across. So for Hayes to stay in this position, and as a result, they want Wardell to lock that spot down just in case. So they go for the swing, thinking they're going to get a free kill onto Wardell, and it's dead. Nothing. A lot of flashes coming out around the corner, making it quite difficult for T1 to stick around. Sure, they get the spike planted, but at what cost? Skadoodle somehow surviving, fighting his way out of this one as best as possible. But as the Seekers come out, so does the Shock Dart. It's all down to Dawn. A big pickup. There is a fat paranoia coming through, but it doesn't make a difference. T